So where you stand is very meaningful, important because the ideas of all that will come next are coming from the foundation of what now is. So new ideas are coming from the foundation of what is. So the new ideas are born, but if you're spending all of your time examining the foundation, then you don't allow yourself to have the experience of the new that's coming in response to all of that. You see what happens with humans is that we love you so much. You know what's coming next, <laughs> but you're so addicted to what you call reality that you don't let yourself make the jump into what could be so much more. So you go so slow because you got to explain it. Oh, you've been really trying to, and you've got to defend it and you've got to justify it. When all you had to do is see a crumbling foundation and know you wanted a solid foundation. That's all you needed to know. But what is it about humans that makes them have to explain why they want the solid foundation by pointing out all the problems with the foundation that isn't solid? See how much wasted time there is in examining the problem and explaining the problem and justifying the problem. In other words, when you know what you don't want, you know what you do want. And if you could just know that and know that your inner being is all over it, and then you could, in the moment of a new idea, turn your undivided attention to the new idea, you'd find satisfaction, 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 satisfaction. But what you mostly do instead is you get the new idea and then you keep comparing the new idea to where you're at. And then you keep explaining the new thing that you want as you compare it to where you're at. And then you mess up the new idea with all of the energy about where you're at. And then you hold yourself not in the receiving mode so that the new idea tortures you because it keeps calling you, but you won't go. So how are you going to get yourself to a place? that your old beliefs and your old awarenesses of what is already happening stop hindering you from where you want to go it's a new way of looking at it you have to stop being so human and so active in your physical stuff we love it that you've got a problem on your hands with no easy solution and we love it that it's affecting so many of you that you just can't solve it in the way that you traditionally would you're going to have to go at this with a whole new way of going at it, which is the point of these conversations that we're having with you all day, every day. We want you to know you're vibrational. You don't want to know that you want to see it and hear it and smell it and taste it and touch it. But we've told you enough that you are vibrational, that you're starting to accept that you might be vibrational. And then we explain to you that you've created a vibrational reality that really is real. And at first you don't want to accept that because you can't see it and hear it and smell it and taste it and touch it. But as we talk to you long enough about it, you begin to feel the logic of it. You begin to acknowledge that creation must come from somewhere. We explain to you that you are vibrational interpreters and what you see with your eyes is just an interpretation of vibration. So you begin to understand that your vibration can morph as your ability to see changes. So then we want you to stop looking so much and start feeling more. We say to you, this vortex exists, but you can't see it. And you say, we're getting pretty tired of that story, Abraham. Pretty tired of that story. How can I get my money out of the vortex and into the bank? I've heard about it in there. I know everything's in there. You've told us that everything that we want is in there. All right, it's in there. I either want in or I want it to come out where I am. How do I become a vibrational match to what's in there? And we say, you have to vibrationally align with what's in there right now you're vibrationally aligned with what you're witnessing you offer most of your vibrations in response to what you're seeing you got to find a way to see something beyond what is which means you got to stop looking at what is because you can't look at what is and move beyond it because what is is resistant to what is moving beyond it does that make sense it's like if I want this improvement and I'm looking at what is my attention to what is won't allow the improvement. Can you hear that? So now we're down to the real nitty gritty about what you've got to do. How do you let this thought be more compelling? So we say, all right, you got to get in the receiving mode of this and not so much in the receiving mode of this. And then we say, you can tell when you're in the receiving mode of this because it feels fresh and new and exciting and adventurous. And you can feel when you're in the receiving mode of this because it feels boring and like effort. 
It feels like struggle and strife and effort. It feels like justifying and defending and rationalizing. It feels like explaining to your mother why you did it. Can you feel the difference between the adventure and the burden? So as you start caring about the way you feel, and then as you meditate for about 15 minutes a day, and you detach from this habit of thought so that you allow this dominant vibration to call you closer and closer to the point that you begin receiving it, then you get to be one of those humans who actually manages your own vibrations into thoughts and those thoughts into things and you get to witness it. And at first you'll want to call it magic because it's unusual. It's unusual to acknowledge a vibrational reality and to adjust yourself through love and alignment to the point that you get to witness its unfolding. You get to see through the eyes of source and you get to rendezvous with others who do also. And you get to feel the power of the energy that creates worlds coursing through you. And you get to witness the experience of what that feels like. But what trips you up is getting that far and being all aligned with that and then looking over there to see what you're accomplishing. Because in the moment you look over to see what you're accomplishing, you've left this world and you've joined this world. You've detached from the energy that is in the process of becoming and you've gone back to the old stuff that's already been created, to the old news. So you got to decide, you don't have to, but we really encourage it. <laughs> you've got to decide which is the real reality for you, which is the new reality which is the new what is and which is the old what is. And we want you to appreciate with everything you've got, the old what is, for the foundation it was, for the launching of the rockets that it is. But the sooner you can accept this reality and the sooner that you can tune yourself to it, the sooner that you're going to be happy today. Toward what end? Toward the end of being happy today. Satisfied today. Oh, Abraham, is there more? More than satisfied today? Yeah, satisfied today, 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 today. This is going to take a while. Today, 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 today. But Abraham, I like to be satisfied today. But please, may I, let me look down the road. Let me look way over there. Let me give this a reason, a reason more than satisfied for today. And we say, there you go, acting like a human again needing to justify your ecstasy and your alignment with some life-changing world uplifting good <sighs> you're born uplifters you want to uplift you want to soothe you want to be of advantage but if you could just stop doing things for all okay I'll go see Abraham I'll listen to all the they say the same thing over and over Esther got off an elevator the other day and walked into a group of people who had been at the seminar in Chicago. And a very nice man was saying, she just talks in circles. <laughs> and Esther thought, true enough, true enough. Abraham just keeps looping around and bringing you back and looping around and bringing you back and looping around and bringing you back. But toward this end, toward the end of understanding that as life has caused you to want something the reason that the desire exists is so that you have a reason to focus yourself into alignment which feels so good you've been saying it for a long time humans you say the joy is in the journey but you don't mean it you mean if the journey leads me to a productive end then it was worth it that's what you mean when you say it and we mean no it's a satisfying journey It's a satisfying journey because it's not ever going to be done you're not ever going to be finished with moving forward none of us are evolution is an eternal part of that which we are and so as you just relax and accept it and then reach for the thoughts that feel the best and meditate yourself into alignment then what happens is you get to be this focused energy in this physical time and space where you get to choose things that are meaningful to you and to others and you get to with the power of your mind and your ability to align energy you get to open the vortex through which these thoughts can turn to things and yes you will witness the things but if it's witnessing the thing that matters most then you're off base if it's feeling the joy of it as it becomes then you're on base
Yeah. yeah, and I appreciate the looping because I feel like every time you loop, I feel a little bit of the yeah. resistance yeah. just floating yeah. away. Yeah, because like the sounds that you're offering to your patients, we just keep offering something more soothing and offering something more soothing and offering something more soothing until you're soothed. And it isn't until you're soothed that you can hear. Thank yeah. you so really much. Good. Really good. Really good. Really good.